Uh, now I would like to uh, call upon Dr. Manish. Uh, sir, can you please unmute yourself? Uh, Dr. Manish. Yes, sir. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Manish. Yeah. Uh, here we are to talk about uh, mainly scleroderma and uh, the role of physiotherapy in scleroderma. Uh, physiotherapy has a very important role to play, and uh, we know what to do once we know what are the actual physical symptoms that we tend to see. The symptoms that we see are mainly increased fatigue. pain difficulty in opening mouth or eating joint stiffness ulcers poor circulation to fingers or toes weakness weakness in the hand weakness in the grips legs and trunk that's the main uh, problems that we see which are related to physical therapy so what problems does physical therapy address physical therapy mainly addresses uh, problems of in scleroderma especially myositis all soft tissue tissue restrictions contractures of the hands hips wrists knees etc all joint restrictions that build up gradually over time and also quite ignored is the chest wall restriction because of which we have uh, respiratory problems poor circulation and peripheral nerve entrapment mainly the median nerve giving rise to carpal tunnel syndrome the ulna nerve and things like that so physiotherapy management what do we try to uh, do for people with scleroderma the first thing that we try to do is uh, strengthening build some strength and stability that is in the mainly in the core or the trunk muscles the hips and the gluteal muscles the shoulders and ankles these are the mainly uh, areas we need to work on from the very beginning even before they get really weak or tight the second part we need to work on is mainly mobility beginning with gentle movements and maybe active and if things are getting stiff active and assisted range of motion exercises some stretching which could be in the form of yoga or any form of exercise that one wants to do when joints get stiff joint mobilization actively or passively by any other person or a therapist and soft tissue massage because a lot of collagen gets tightened there so we need to do a lot a lot of soft tissue massage to maintain the suppleness of the tissue uh some of the common things what what one should do is uh, some oral and facial exercises and simple contracture management the oral exercises if you look at here's a list of uh, some of the exercises which one can do normally to prevent uh mainly contractures the first one if you see is just trying to lift both your uh sides of your mouth up towards your nostrils like this and then you do uh one single side lift and then both your lower lips down both edges of your lower lips down like trying to stretch it out opening your mouth here as you see completely as big as possible o and then again pouting which everyone does nowadays for selfies this and back and then blowing air into your cheeks this actually maintains mainly the softness and of the tissue it maintains the elasticity uh then we do the cheek and lip combined we try to pull them up and down and sideways then just the jaw is pulled down and sideways both sides left and right and the cheek massage uh both inwards in circles and up and down this is the most important part of the facial exercise which one can do all the time the second is contracture prevention uh one of the best methods to do that is actually just uh, simply keep the joints warm not hot but because uh, at times our thermoreceptors can be compromised so just keep them warm as the first thing to do if you are getting tight you can use uh, sorry i've written hot water but warm water you, you can soak it in warm water or do a wax bath a physical therapist can help you and you can actually do them at home you get very small kits and easily available to do at home dip them in your uh, your hands or your feet in them let them be for about uh, about 8 to 10 minutes 
remove the wax and do simple exercises like uh, just bending your wrists all the small joints stretching them especially the three point stretch that we need to do for uh, joints which get tight and crooked of the hands and uh, then you need to strengthen the muscles this is what we need to do mainly uh, the next thing which one a physical therapist would want to actually help you and you can uh, make maximum use is for when you have pulmonary compromise in terms of breathing even uh, pranayam helps a lot you can do very uh, clearly defined uh, breathing exercises to help you maintain your breathing muscles strength and the volume of your lungs of course not that it will come back to 100% but yes it can maintain it to a great extent and help you bring back some uh, lung volume and also do simple like uh, spirometer simple things or blowing balloons or blowing through a straw these things help a lot in maintaining your chest uh, volume but that is it from my side for the time thank you uh, thank you my dear sir uh, the exercises which you have shown for the face i think they are going to be very very helpful and uh, there is one request from actually uh, everybody who has joined today we would like to have okay. these slides uh, so if it is not a problem uh, please share all these slides with us because i think it's going to help the whole community a lot sure sure, sure. i will right sir thank you thank you